very much for coming. We are so excited to welcome all of you here and to announce uh, the, uh, to show you the new logo and announce everything about Experience Princeton. Uh, I was thinking on the way over here, um, you know, who, it is, who is it that wants to experience Princeton? And I, I was thinking, I, I, uh, I spent a year abroad uh, at the London School of Economics um, in college, and I lived in London. And did I experience London? You know, it's funny because I thought, well, I live in London. I don't need to go to the, the museums, or I don't need to go to Harrods. And then I realized at the end of the year, I didn't, hadn't really experienced London because I didn't go and check out all the cool things that were there. And if you think about the constituency of Experience Princeton, of course it's the people that come to visit. Um, and it's the business owners and the employees who go to you know, all the great coffee places and the restaurants. But it's also the residents. And do they take it for granted that they have all these wonderful things in their town that they could possibly experience? Well, they may take it for granted, but we're gonna make sure that they hear about all these things and all the events and all the wonderful, the Arts Council and the Princeton Symphony and all the great things to do in town. Because um, I think back to that year in London, uh, and ever since then I've gone back about 20 times because my wife is from there. And I make it a point to experience London in a way that I didn't that year. And I, I think that, you know, um, it's easy to forget all the great things that are going on in this town and to take it for granted and uh, to not experience those things because you can do it next year or next month or whenever. But we're going to make sure that everybody knows all about it because I really think that there's so many great things to take advantage of. This is this is a rare place in, the, in New Jersey and in the world. All of the incredible amenities that are available here to everybody. And um, we're gonna make sure to promote them and to create a buzz and, and have some fun in doing it. So, uh, well, let's do that today. Let's have some fun. Let's get to know each other. Um, but first of all, I'd like to ask Isaac to come up front and give us acknowledgement of officials and guests. Great, thank you. Uh, can we have a little applause? Uh, for, uh, for our president, I don't know if he uh, identified himself by name, uh, but that would be uh, Aubrey Haynes. Uh, and among his many claims to fame is he's spending every day of this week with me uh, doing at least one thing a day. So that, that's, that's the price you pay when you become president of an organization. Um, so with that, um, I'm more than happy to introduce some of our elected officials, appointed officials, uh, and also uh, some of our special guests, civic leaders, organizations. Uh, I am going to start uh, with the mayor, if you could just say a quick word. Right, and we are doing quick words because those of us that are on the agenda have 10 minutes combined, so we only have a few seconds. Thank you for being here. Welcome. Great day. Great stuff about to happen. Thank you, Isaac. Awesome. There we go. Yeah. You nailed that. Uh, Michelle, uh, on behalf of the council, if you'd like to say a quick word. I can't be any quicker than that, but um, <laughs> welcome, everyone. And uh, this is something that's been a dream. Uh, it's a dream come true. Uh, this is so important for Princeton, and I'm just so excited tonight to um, to be able to unveil this. So I'm going to be brief. Thank you. Uh, excellent, excellent. So next up is Anthony, uh, our guest from Mercer County, and Adam. I'm putting you on call. Thank you, Isaac. Uh, thank you very much, Isaac, for having me, Mayor. It's great to be in your town. Um, I serve as the Director of Economic Development at the County of Mercer. One of the things that I told Isaac a couple of weeks ago when we first met was that we were going to be offering, through our recovery dollars, a grant program. That program is set to be launched on February 1st. Um, up to $10,000 in small business grants for small businesses of uh, 20 employees or less. Um, I will send Mr. Isaac, all the details of that program, and um, I hope that we have some folks in the room that are interested in it. Um, it. It mainly is for those that experience some difficulty, some businesses that experience difficulty, which pretty much was almost all the businesses during the pandemic. So as we recover, uh, this is an opportunity to take advantage of a, of a really great program that the county's offering. 
I went on too, a little bit too long. Am I good? Um, whenever you have three point five million dollars in your pocket, there you go. There there, you go. Uh, we'll give you as much time, Anne, please. Uh, so thank you, thank you, and and, and we were very informal. That's Anthony Carabelli uh, for everyone uh, who's keeping track. Thank you very much, Adam Welch. I'm the executive director here at the Arts Council of Princeton. Thank you all very much for joining us here this evening. Uh, thank you, Mayor, and uh, various dignitaries for for joining us. Um, I just want to put in a, a quick plug. Porch Fest is right around the corner, and it's an amazing opportunity to get out and see this town. So I know we're keeping it brief. It's good to see everybody, and uh, we have some flyers on Porch Fest right out the door. Thank you. Shameless plug. Excellent. No, as our host, we're very grateful for that. And I'll just give you the lineup. Uh, next up is uh, Chamber uh, Library in Sustainable Princeton, if they're in the room. So. Uh, the chamber, uh, our colleague uh, Christine Kerr. Thank you, Isaac. Oh, see, I'm throwing, throwing checks around. Oh, Always uh, very excited. I'll take it. Well, I don't, um, we, we, we've already uh, paid our membership. Uh, 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 thank you. Uh, thank you for having me. And uh, Hal English, the uh, president and CEO, apologizes for not being able to be here. But there's another event happening right here in Princeton as well, um, and that's that's where he is. So we are so happy to be partnering now with. Um, Isaac and, and the new sit in Princeton, and we really hope that we could help you grow, and we look forward to future success for you. Excellent, excellent. Uh, thank you, Christine. Uh, next up, library. Uh, whoever the designated person is on behalf of the library, excellent. And it's one of three uh, who are SVP. Um, we are meeting for the first time, so this is very exciting for me too. Your name? Erica Bess. Oh, excellent. Please. I am an assistant director at Princeton Public Library. Thank you so much. Gotcha. Um, and we have four staff members here today. We're, wow. we're eager to um, uh, participate, and uh, thank you for the opportunity. Um, the library has a variety of programs and services to support economic development and job seekers, um, job services in Princeton. and. Um, I could spend the entire meeting time up here, I promise I won't, but just to name a few, um, space, technology, um, market research assistance, um, we have um, a variety of experts on staff and programs that support um, uh, uh, small business uh, development, and um, please think of us when you have your, um, your um, needs for anything related to job skills development, um, I could go on and on, but um, just think of the library, it's the building in the center of town, so you can't miss it. Excellent. And uh, I, I'm pleased to say that I'm not only the director of Experience Princeton, I'm also a library member. And this is my card. So, thank you. Thank you. Uh, there we go. Um, and I said sustainable. Uh, sustainable in the room. Is Princeton future in the room? Excellent. Um, so with that, uh, I'm just going to ask one last but very important detail. Would any members of the board of Princeton Business Partnership, now experienced Princeton, would board members please stand up? Excellent. Thank you. Uh, all volunteers, everybody who makes this happen. Um, and also, uh, I'd say, uh, same importance, uh, is all of our businesses and property owners, if you could please stand up. Good, good. So, so to really drive the point home, this meeting is for you. Uh, we're happy to be here tonight. Uh, with that, I'm going to introduce one of those business owners right now, uh, Gail Ananta, who is the owner uh, and the managing director of Ananta Creative Group based in Princeton. Gail. Thank you. Thank you, It is so nice to be here tonight, and I'm just to see a room full of so many familiar faces. Um, as Isaac just mentioned, we are um, a business in Princeton, so we are not only um, a creative partner with Experience Princeton in creating the, the brand identity and the logo, but we're also a member of the SIT, and I think that's really important. Um, personally, I, I have loved Princeton since the very first time I came here. Um, had no idea I'd ever be living here, having a business here. It was always my dream. And I can't even, you know, um, I can't even speak to how much I appreciate being here and being involved in this particular project. Um, I'd like to introduce you to a couple other people on our team who have helped me tremendously, uh, and that would be uh, Matt Pilsner. He's my um, my business partner. He's our photographer, operations director. He's also 
at 4.15 today, he'll be launching the Experience Princeton website, <laughs> right, for, uh, right live in front of you. That's why he's got his laptop. Um, once we do this reveal, we will launch a new website. Michael Quancy, who is a very important person, He's a very important person today because he is the logo designer, but he's a very important person to us every day because he's a very integral part of our, of our team here in Princeton. Um, so to that, I'd like to ask you all to think, um, when you think about experiencing Princeton, and, and just when you think about Princeton, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Um, don't overthink it, don't analyze it, just the first thing that pops in your head and kind of tuck that away. Um, because that is, that was a big part of the process for coming to where we are right now with this brand identity, is we understood from the very beginning that, um, I'm sorry, I wasn't talking loud enough. <laughs> we understood from the very beginning that the name Princeton already meant so much to so many different people. Um, there was such a strong brand identity, and where were we going to go with that? Um, people already had a very strong feeling about it. A lot of people did. Um, and we started basically engaging in dialogue with everyone we could. And trust me, I asked everyone I have come in contact with for the past few months, what does Princeton mean to you? And we got all kinds of different answers. And the kind of words that came up were you know, traditional, cultural, um, iconic, sophisticated, um, and, you know, all these words that really implied excellence and innovation, invent inventiveness. Um, but what also really came across um, was that Princeton, while it is so prestigious and the name carries so much, it is really a very, very friendly, welcoming, and open, diverse, and inclusive community. And I think that's what we love so much about it and why we're so happy to be a part of this community. Um, and, we, and that really needed to come across more than um, almost anything else when we were <coughs> identifying the personality of Princeton. Yes, it's, you know, we have the university, um, but we also have, you know, all these coffee shops and, and hangouts, and we've got the arts, we've got MacArthur Theater, we've got all these uh, wonderful things that Aubrey was talking about that maybe we don't even think about because we're here all the time. The other thing that's really unique about this special improvement district is that the geography uh, is very broad. Most special improvement districts, and we do work with another one um, in New Jersey, we do uh, really enjoy this kind of work, um, getting to know all the different business owners, but they're often restricted in a very specific geographic area, often downtown, in a downtown district. Um, you often hear of different towns having um, like a love, like a you know, a local support local campaign and having a whole downtown area that they support as part of the special improvement district. Here in Princeton, it is not just Palmer Square, it is not just the shopping center or Route One or the University or Nassau Street, it is all of those things. So that was our challenge. So I've just identified our challenge. We have a name that everybody already has a strong association with, and we have a geographic area that we're trying to define that is very uh, that is broad and very diverse. And what we, Michael, would you like to come, <laughs> come up? It's, it's Michael, our uh, logo designer. So when we, we took all the... Um, we can clap after you yes. reveal. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, I'll stop talking. I know you're just more interested in this. This is um, very good. You, you have your time. So, I, so we've identified this, you know, the personality of Princeton as being very, uh, warm and welcoming and lively and vibrant and sophisticated and yet unassuming and just all these um, these wonderful characteristics that make it not just a place to come and to do business and to live and to you know engage in cultural activities but just a place to come and have fun and hang out um, people just really that's what I was hearing more and more as I was talking to people we like to come here and meet like we are tonight People come here to have business meetings, they come here to see friends, they, they network like I do with the Princeton Chamber. Um, and we really wanted that to, to come across. And as you're out and exploring and networking and meeting and engaging with all of your friends and colleagues and business uh, partners, you are, along the way, you are exploring and you are seeing all kinds of 
all kinds of different things, whether it's a new coffee shop, a new flavor of ice cream, a new play at McCarter, there's constantly new things to discover while you're in Princeton. And they could be about Princeton, and they can also be about yourself. You can come here and you can reflect, you can take a ceramics class at the um, Arts Council in Princeton, you can take a stroll by the, the canal, there's um, so many wonderful ways to, to experience Princeton very personally and um, professionally. So to that, ta-da. <laughs> to talk a little bit about the color orange um, and then I'm going to hand the microphone over to uh, Michael. Just like the name Princeton was um, iconic and had to be included in the name of this organization and that was challenging because we didn't want it to be, couldn't just call it Princeton, um, it couldn't be more than two words so it had to be something Princeton or, um, or Princeton something and again we came up with experience Princeton being about the entire the entirety of the experience of being in Princeton. Another thing that we found is that the color orange is so so identifiable with not just the university, but with, with the town of Princeton. And while we started off in the process is not really, we didn't want to copy that, we didn't want to look like the Princeton University logo, and we certainly don't, but we found by getting away from the orange that we were really um, missing the mark a little bit because just having a touch of orange and a splash of orange really just also just like the name Princeton the color orange also speaks to a strong identity that Princeton already had. Hi uh, Michael. Um, yeah this orange uh, I do a lot of work for businesses uh, for the university as well as businesses and the first thing I ask is what's your relationship with orange? because a lot of people don't like it, and a lot of people even at the university hate it. But I have to say, it's, I personally love orange, but um, whenever I'm working on logos for institutions in the area, I always like to present something with orange, because I have to say it's, sh it's shorthand for Princeton, whether, again, like it's the university or it's a business within Princeton. So um, the uh, logo came about because when we were talking about the geography and the different areas and what we needed to re represent, if we were just representing downtown, it might be a little easier, but because it's such a broad area, uh, we couldn't be too specific about that. So um, the idea of the geography and the different areas, which is how I came up with this idea of almost like the marker, the map marker. From the very beginning, we knew we wanted to use a P and I had done different things with the P, but when I really started looking at it and realized that it could be a map park <coughs> um, with this uh, compass in it, that it automatically spoke to whenever you know, we're doing something, we can use that as a marker, whether it's an actual map or it's a photo. And then the other thing that I did with the P was I made it into almost like a speech bubble because that's really the way, I find that's the best way to discover Princeton is to talk to people, to talk to other people. I was actually just at a restaurant a few um, weeks ago with my partner, and you know how you always look and see what someone else is eating? Mm -hmm. And um, the people, the couple next to us caught us. So when we started talking, and the first thing we started talking about was like, what are your favorite restaurants in Princeton? So that's really how we discover Princeton. So that's where the icon part um, uh, really works. And especially when it was when Gail um, came up with the tagline, discoveries around every corner. And that's really when it kind of came together with these rounded corners, this marker, and the speech. And just a, um, sorry, thanks Michael. Um, and just a little bit more about discoveries around every corner, and that's so important, because this is the beginning of the campaign. Because it's, um, there are discoveries around every corner, like I was speaking to, but it could be, we can expand upon this. It could be art around every corner. It could be culture around every corner. It could be restaurants around every corner. Certainly there's coffee shops around every corner. Um, so we are gonna be um, taking this tagline and we are gonna be using it in different ways um, and to illustrate all the various wonderful things you experience in Princeton that are just, um, just around the corner. And that is, um, <laughs> that is, so anyway, again, I'm just really so happy to see everybody. We're uh, really excited about this, and we are um, launching a new website.
today. So look for that. Thank you. Uh, so thank you for that, Gail. And I think it was really helpful to be brought into that process and to hear directly from two of the people that were involved in it. Uh, we would be remiss if we didn't recognize the volunteers who also served on the logo and the website team. Uh, so I do want to quickly recognize uh, Bob Hillier, uh, Aubrey Haynes, uh, Michelle Perron Lambrose, uh, and Joy Chen, who's not here with us today. Uh, but I can tell you personally, uh, you all made invaluable contributions to that process. And it's because of your vision uh, and really looking carefully at what we developed uh, that we got what we see today. So thank you to the volunteers. Um, would we like to thank the volunteers? You're going to find I'm a big clapping guy. Exactly. I see you, Marina. Uh, you, you, you get it. So, um, so with that, uh, we're going to move to our team reports. And I'm going to ask uh, my colleague, Kristen Applegat, to come up and uh, lead us off. Excellent. Let's welcome Kristen. Modestly use the podium here for the notes. It's good to see everyone today. Um, for those uh, in the room who I've not had the pleasure of meeting, although I see many, many familiar faces, I'm Kristen Applegate. Um, I'm the Assistant Vice President for Community and Regional Affairs at Princeton University, and I'm one of the employees that likes orange. Um, <laughs> uh, for purposes of um, experience Princeton, um, I serve uh, as a co-chair along with Kate Beck from the YMCA. Um, on the administrative team, along with our great colleague, Lance Liverman. Uh, we probably have the least exciting update of the day to provide you, so, but nonetheless, one that's very important. Um, in recent months, our administrative team has been focused on uh, supporting the work of the board and our staff, um, our executive director, uh, by helping to put in place the practices, the policies, and the procedures for what is essentially a startup business. This organization is a startup. Um, so we've been focused on things like starting bank accounts, hiring bookkeepers, drafting conflict of interest and internal control documents, as I told you, it was very exciting, um, and basically helping to get our record keeping and financial systems uh, in place. Um, we've collectively made a lot of progress, but there's still lots more to do, and uh, I know we have other meetups scheduled in the coming months, and we'll look forward to providing, with you, uh, providing you with updates as our, as our work proceeds. So thank you. Uh, Lori Raybon will come up next. I think Lori's jumping up. We're going to be fast here. Yep. Well oiled machine. I talk loud but fast. Hi, Lori Raybon with Commerce Square. Um, I, along with Jamie Herring, chair the economic development uh, team. And first, I would invite anybody who has an interest, we have openings in our group and are always looking for other voices. So please let me know if you'd like to join our team. We meet the second Monday of every month via Zoom. So it's not even in person. Um, we currently are working, our, our top priority is allowable uses for the retail units. Um, and we're hoping to be able to, once uh, Aubrey takes a look at our action plan and we go before the board, to be able to meet with the town staff uh, about some different ideas that we have, and, and that's one of our shorter term goals. We also are looking at signage, both for tenants as well as wayfinding, um, because we would like to have consistency across the entirety of the town. Um, I think those are two of the top priorities. Uh, I can actually check my notes just to make sure. Uh, we are working on parking alternatives. I know that's a hot topic, but that's a long-term goal. Um, something that the town's been working on for, for quite a while. And one of the other things we're looking at is streamlining the processes when new businesses come into town, the paperwork that needs to get done, possibly talking to the town about getting that online so there's no more paper that actually has to be filed. So lots of new exciting things going on and we're hoping to bring them forward and we'll continue to update you each month. Isaac, who's next? Uh, next up is Bob. Bob. Thank you. I'm Bob Hillier, and my uh, co-chair, Joy Chen, isn't here today, uh, but she's uh, just as important to the process as everything that's been said. Um, 
marketing, and we're the marketing committee, um, and marketing is about creating awareness of what's going on. And I, I grew up in Princeton, um, and even though I was born in Canada, and I always refer to Princeton as the best little city in the world, which gets a few people upset because they don't want to believe it's a city, but it's got all the urban issues, but it's also got all the cultural issues. And I look at Princeton as the cultural center of New Jersey, frankly, because we have more culture here than any other, quote, city in the, in the, in the state. Um, and I think that um, it's, a, it's important that we get the message out. Marketing is about getting the message of coming to Princeton. And that applies not only to people from around the world, because two million people already visit this town, but they're visiting the university in the main. They're not coming to Princeton. And we gotta get them on the other side of Nassau Street uh, so they do a little more shopping and the businesses become better and the economics become better. Um, and we, we can fill up all those empty retail stores that we have right now. Um, and so that's, that's one of our, our mission. But what's part of your mission is when they walk into your store or they walk into your business, you've got to become the salesperson. I, I, I often refer to uh, advertising for automobiles on TV, which is all about telling you about the product to get you to come to the showroom. And when you get to the showroom, then you're dealing with the car salesman. And so everybody here has to become a car salesman when you're meeting somebody new that's coming to Princeton. And Joy and I and our whole committee are gonna work at getting them here. And so that's, that's my message. Um, now, one other thing, which is a little bit of an interruption, is I just uh, today went to, I'm the publisher of Princeton Magazine, and we just had what we call the, way, the page turner. And I'd like to show you the cover which is our host today, Adam Helms. And, and he, he doesn't even know this was happening. <laughs> so, happy surprise. Thank you all. And now who's next? Jack. Jack, yes. Jack Morrison. Well, greetings. Uh, it's easy for me to uh, just radiate about Princeton. I think everybody knows that. Um, Nassau Street Seafood, I opened 41 years ago, and had uh, Blue Point Grill, Witherspoon Grill, Christine's, but more importantly, uh, being involved in town, and I look at so many faces, and I've, I've always, will tell you the story, I've raised two beautiful kids. Uh, my son's moved back here, so we see three little grandkids every weekend, and uh, the experience continues. It's just a fantastic place to be. Um, with that said, I am the chair or co-chair of Streetscapes um, with Omar Delgado, who is uh, just coming out of a little uh, sustained COVID uh, period, but he runs Say Cheese. Then we have Mimi Omashensky, um, Charlie Yedlin from Up on 206, Mark Sullivan, Joel Schwartz, and James Stewart and Jessica Dory on our committee. I'm trying to wrangle Andrew Siegel. So we're, we're very, we started quickly um, in October, late October, November, to start decorating the town. So we, we were the people that put the, the flags, a little controversial, but we took the, thank you Mark for your help. We removed the American flags, which we will put back up in the spring during the 4th of July. But we, we put the snowflake flags up and down the street, not realizing that the manufacturer gave us pillowcases. So every time, every time it got windy, snap went a pole. Um, we wrapped, we tied into uh, the same decorator that did Palmer Square. So we sort of extended the Palmer Square, the ribbons, the, the lights, the warm lights. And then we tackled the safety issues of Witherspoon with construction because we're waiting for public service for lights and. Who knows when they're going to come? So we wrapped the snow fence for safety for pedestrians, frankly, um, and it and it decorated. It made it a lot safer. Uh, we were also uh, very influential in getting um, the Graduate Hotel to decorate jam and crepes, all that uh, scaffolding. Um, and what else? And that was it. Okay. So going forward, we're going to talk trash. 
Um, one of the things we're coming up with, and it's really a challenge, and we all talk about it, one of the things we don't mention a whole lot is <clears throat> the trash piling up outside, the outside eateries, people don't have back doors, they have front doors. So over the next six weeks, we're really going to focus and get the information of just the functionality, who, who gets picked up when, where, how, what company. Um, so Mimi, myself, Mark, uh, Charlie, we're all going to be knocking on doors with a little questionnaire just to get that. And then the other thing I finally want to really thank Mark Frieda, Michelle, the, account, the council for the support that you've given us. Deanna Stockton, James Purcell, Dan Matter at Public Works. It takes a whole community. And you guys have always pick up the phone, um, and we thank you for it. So again, trash is the... Uh, the new word, and uh, we're on it. We hope for a nice spring. Thank you. Michelle. Thank you. I, I was brief before. I won't be quite as brief. Um, I'm going to talk about Restaurant Week, but before I get to that, I just, um, just want to back up for a second and just, you've heard from our various volunteer uh, committees there's room um, and you know we're welcoming town, we're welcoming special improvement district. Um, so there's lots of opportunity to be involved. This is not gonna be successful unless we have the support and the involvement of the whole community. And as you heard about trash, and that's one thing, signage, um, permitting, making it easier, and so on and so forth, it's all about this cooperation between the government and the business community and the residents. We all need to work together to really uplift and solve the problems. I mean, trash looks like, okay, you know, it's, you, just pick, you change the times, but it is complicated. There's a lot, you, there's town trash pickup, there's, there's the municipal, and then there's the private. So there's a lot of things to coordinate. Or we just made a change in the ordinance, noise ordinance to be able to pick up earlier. So that's part of the solution, but we have to move forward together. So. Um, like I said, it's a dream come true uh, to see all of you here and to reveal and move forward. So what I'm going to talk about is something that I started uh, working before I was on council with the um, Merchants Association, which is uh, we created Princeton Restaurant Week. So, you know, the wonderful thing in Princeton is we don't even have to really, as a, as a group, have to make a lot more events because we have so many things going on, thanks to the Arts Council, the library, and other community partners. But Restaurant Week is something that the uh, Experience Princeton group will now do. Uh, we have a special uh, subcommittee made up of um, myself, uh, Isaac, uh, Rourke Dunn is here, and we've invited some other people to join us. Uh, we're open to other people helping us. And then the marketing team, which is uh, which Bob and Joy chair, uh, they are also involved in helping us. So it's going to be March 5th to the 11th. We have a really short runway to get there. Um, we're not charging the restaurants to be involved. We're just asking them to do their prefix menu. We're looking for sponsors, we've reached out. Um, so we could use help with that. Uh, we're going to do, be doing some media. There'll be some you know, media uh, placement. There'll be flyers uh, and a lot of social media because uh, these days you can do a lot with social media. So I just wanted to announce that Princeton Restaurant Week, March 5th to the 11th. Uh, looking for help, uh, looking for sponsors, looking for ideas, and um, just contact me, Isaac, and, and work is here. Work, stand up to wave. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. All right, thanks everyone. So at this point in the program, uh, it's Q&A. Uh, so it gives everybody an opportunity to ask questions. Uh, I guess um, Kristen and Lori and Jack and Bob, if you want to come up, you can help answer some of the questions because it may be related to one of your teams. Um, so um, who has the first question? Come on, somebody's got a question, right? Isaac, you want to you throw a softball? Oh, I have a lot of questions, <laughs> just not for here. Jan, come on. Well, I, I just have a suggestion uh, that all real estate agents and leasing agents get a relocation package or a link to our, our greater Princeton. That way, there's a Princeton sale. So, Bob, that would be your response. It's Jan Weinberg. Oh, Weinberg. 
Yeah. So, um, um, Isaac, Michelle, who wants to talk about the website? Because that's kind of where you're, you know, we're going to, every single business in the community will be uh, listed on our website. And so that people who are looking to do business in Princeton will easily be able to find their way to people in the real estate business or the restaurant business or the chamber or whatever other organization there is. So um, that's in process. We're not there yet because we just got just getting the website launched with a very simple uh, website, uh, but it will be developed much further over time to include those um, that that aspect. Thanks, Jen. Um, well, if there aren't any questions, I guess we can start the social hour.